What's up, y'all, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed. Let's do this! Alright, so previous video, we went through the tutorial, the prologue, and we ended up here in the foothills of Masaif, the Assassin's Stronghold, where we got told to report our mighty fine booty up to the Grandmaster for some ass whooping. Roll a pole. Roll a roll a pole. So yeah, so we're just gonna make our way up. Up, 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 up. Uh, there are some flags you can collect, I believe, at this point within the town, but uh, I'm not even sure if we're gonna do that. Because, unlike the other ones, I don't believe there's any maps you can get to sort of, like, disclose their position. You actually have to find them... Uh, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. And also very interesting, his, like, from a cultural and a historical point of view, if you ever look at the the architecture, it's actually got a mix and match of different civilizations. You've got the musky style, sort of like cathedral up top, which also has some... Uh, some that's it. Would you say it is Catholicism? Catholicism, and then obviously the um, the walls and uh, and sort of watchtowers are very reminiscent of um, medieval days. So yeah. But anyway. Ah, he returns at last. Abbas, where are the others? Did you ride ahead hoping to be the first one back? I know you are loath to share the glory. Silence is just another form of ascent. Have you nothing better to do? I bring word from the master. He waits for you in the library. Best hurry. No doubt you're eager to put your tongue to his boot. Another word and I'll put my blade to your throat. And my foot up your ass. Time for that later, brother. This is interesting. Well, anyway, for those who have read the books, or the, the first book anyway, I believe it's Abbas that ends up being a complete douche. No spoilers. If you haven't read the books, by the way, up until uh, I'd recommend the first four, which is to say Altair, uh, and then Ezio Alditore de Firenze. And then after that, I wasn't too much of a fan, but the first one, it really gives you some insight. It, it covers all the bases in regards to um, Altair's life. And yeah, it's just it's awesome. It explains a lot, particularly some of the stuff they didn't include in game. Uh, if you watch the trailer it is an honor. carefully, uh, you will also get some some bits that are reminiscent to that. And then also within Revelations, they um, they try to tie up some ends that they couldn't tie up within the game, the which is quite cool. Him. That you actually find in the um, in the book in the first book. So yeah, but but en enough for that. The other the other thing I wanted to note is um, if you ever look at his bracer, you'll see like four platelets, and the other assassins that you see wandering around will have either one, or two, or none. Uh, so I'm wondering if yeah, if you ever look here, there's one. I'm wondering if that's uh, to do with rank. So the more sort of like platelets you have on your bracer, the higher ranked you are. Altair, Master, come forward. Tell me of your mission. I trust you have recovered the Templar's treasure. There was some trouble, Master. Robert de Sable was not alone. When does our work ever go as expected? It's our ability to adapt that makes us who we are. This time it was not enough. What do you mean? I have failed you. The treasure? Lost to us. And Robert escaped. I send you, my best man, to complete a mission more important than any that has come before. And you return to me with nothing but apologies and excuses. I did. Do not speak. Not another word. This is not what I expected. We'll need to mount another force. I swear to you I'll find him. I'll go in. No! You'll do nothing. 
You've done enough. Where are Malik and Kadar? Dead. No! Not dead. Malik? I still live at least. And your brother? Gone. Because of you! Robert threw me from the room. There was no way back. Nothing I could do. Because you would not heed my warning! All of this could have been avoided! And my brother... My brother would still be alive! Your arrogance nearly cost us victory today. Nearly? I've watched your favorite fail to find. Here. Take it. Though it seems I've returned with more than just their treasure. Master, we are under attack. Robert de Sable lays siege to Masiaf's village. So he seeks a battle. Very well. I'll not deny him. Go. Inform the others. The fortress must be prepared. As for you, Altair, our discussion will have to wait. You must make for the village. Destroy these invaders. Drive them from our home. It will be done. It will be done, my master. Let's go whoop some booty. Booty, 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 come on. Al Mualim. Altair, it's good you've come. We need your help. What's happened? Templars. They attacked the village. Most of our people were able to get away. Most. But not all. What do you need me to do? Distract the Templars. Keep them occupied while I rescue those still trapped inside. As you wish. Alright, let's do this. Let's go kick some Buddha. Yep. We got our weapons. Although I cannot remember for the life of me how you bring out the short blade. Assassin, you're a dead man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just bring it. Oh, shit. That was too early. There we go. There we go. <laughs> and... Damn. Well, come on. What you doing, boy? Jeez. Why'd you put your sword away? We're in the middle of a fight. And shank. Damn. Alright. <laughs> Those have been dispensed with. And shlank. And stab. Ho oh. ho ho ho. See, because that'd probably come out like the side. Just cut through all the intestines. Oh. See, they. I think they did really well in developing on those. Um, well, I guess they're like repost attacks. Or counter attacks, yeah. Particularly in the, the second one. I think the second ones were really good. It is the quickest way of dispensing with all of them. Like, yeah. Marginally. How dare you touch my people! And slank. I believe I can fly. And I forget what the yeah, because I believe that's it. Yeah, they all. Yeah. What? Why are you going? No, the more dead peeps. Look at that. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. All right, they've lowered the gates. Where to next? 
This way. Up there. We have a surprise plan for our guests. The surprise? Do as I do. It should become clear soon enough. No freaky stuff, alright? I'm done with freaky stuff. Oh, you can actually go over here. Oh, how cool. Oh, no, you can't. Oh, that's sad. Where did you go? When will he stop acting like a fool? <laughs> when will he stop acting like a fool? Stand on that platform, Altair. Dun, 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 dun. Look at the view. Heretic! Return what you have stolen from me! You've no claim to it, Robert. Take yourself from here before I'm forced to thin your ranks further. You play a dangerous game! I assure you, this is no game. So be it! Bring forth the hostage! Your village lays in ruins, and your stores are hardly endless. How long before your fortress crumbles from within? How disciplined will your men remain when the wells run dry and their food is gone? My men do not fear death, Robert. They welcome it, and the rewards it brings. Good. Then they shall have it all around. Follow me, and do so without hesitation. Show this fool knight what it is to have no fear. Go to God! Alright. Shut your whole mouth. Or the Templars will hear us. Oh. I can only imagine how bad that would have been in real life. I'll stay behind and tend to him. You'll have to go ahead without us. Yeah. The ropes there will bring you to a trap we've set. Go and release it. Rain death upon our enemies. Rain death from above. Don't jump into the chasm now. There might be water, but it'll hurt. Yeah, yeah, we've already had that during the tutorial. Remember, game? And there we go. Spider-Man, Spider-Man does whatever an assassin can. See, my arms would be burning slash falling off by now. But this is no ordinary human. This is Altair. Attack! Damn! We just made some you Templar well flower. From here. His force is broken. It shall be a long while before he troubles us again. Tell me, do you know why it is you are successful? You listened. Were it that you'd listened in Solomon's temple, Altair, all of this would have been avoided. I did as I was asked. No, you did as you pleased. Malik has told me of the arrogance you displayed, your disregard for our ways. What are you doing? There are rules. We are nothing if we do not abide by the Assassin's Creed. Three simple tenets, which you seem to forget. I will remind you. First and foremost, stay your blade. From the flesh of an innocent, I know. And stay your tongue. Unless I give you leave to use it. If you are so familiar with this tenant, then why did you kill the old man inside the temple? He was innocent. He did not need to die. Your insolence knows no bounds. Make humble your heart, child, or I swear I'll tear it from you with my own hands. The second tenet is that which gives us strength. 
Hide in plain sight. Let the people mask you such that you become one with the crowd. Do you remember? Because as I hear it, you chose to expose yourself, drawing attention before you'd struck. The third and final tenet. The worst of all your betrayals. Never compromise the Brotherhood. Its meaning should be obvious. Your actions must never bring harm upon us, direct or indirect. Yet your selfish act beneath Jerusalem placed us all in danger. Worse still, you brought the enemy to our home. Every man we've lost today was lost because of you. I am sorry. Truly I am. But I cannot abide a traitor. I am not a traitor. Your actions indicate otherwise. And so you leave me no choice. Peace be upon you, Altair. Oh, damn, son. He got shanked. He, he got shanked good. He's experiencing a far better adoption rate than the other subjects. I'm still pulling him out. He's been in there way too long. No, not yet. We're still so far from where we need to be. We shouldn't risk it. What's another hour or two? Why don't we discuss this in the conference room? Give Desmond a minute to stretch his legs. I, I really don't see the need. Warren, please. Fine. All right. I'm gonna stretch my legs. Can you see? I see servers. Which are either running incredibly hot or are seriously cold. I mean, like, they're steam. Anything over here? Anything over here? Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Can we see anything out the window? It's so bright. Uh, is there anything over here? Nope. And what about over here? Now that is a shower. Don't even know why they would put doors on it. And where do we? Is it here? There we go. Um, what's up, Doc? We're done for today, Mr. Miles. I suggest you return to your room and get some rest. All right. You got anything to say to me? No? 
You got nothing to say to me? All right, then, sweet cheeks. Time for some sleeps then. Damn it, they locked the door. Ah, God dang it. And I guess the only option now is to sleep. Yep, I don't think there was anything else you could do. Nope, nope, nope. Can I even, can I drain the lizard? I cannot drain the lizard. Alright, well, that makes 20 minutes, so we're going to leave it here for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll pick up uh, where we left off in the next video. Until then, stay awesome.